Good morning, painty friends. Happy Tuesday. It's 10 o'clock. It's time for another tip. It's May 2nd, which means, let's see, we're only two days away from May 4th, which we all know is Star Wars Day. So for today's tip, we are going to do a Star Wars themed design, and I'm going to show you a little taste of some of my realism classes that I teach. We're going to incorporate some principles of lighting and shadow into this design, but it's a super fast on the job design still. The Death Star is round, obviously, so we're going to use a round dauber and then a smaller one to get that little divot in it. And I'm going to show you just how to place your lighting and shadow so it looks super 3D. Let's get started. I'm going to use uh, one of Susie's easy strokes for this design. We're gonna make the Death Star a little bit bluish. I'm gonna take this out of its little holder so I can squish it down to fit in this cake. I'm gonna miss my cake, miss my dauber. Squish it down and load it up so I've got dark on one side, light on the other. Now when you're painting a sphere, the, the light sides, obviously the way the, the light is hitting the object. So I'm going to imagine my lights coming from the upper right. And this is a, a round sphere. So I'm gonna just kind of pat and twist here to get my round Death Star shape. Now, if you don't have an easy stroke like this, you can just load it with blue and then scrub the edge of your dauber on on a black or darker blue cake so there's my there's my death star now we want to add that little divot inside so I'm going to take my smaller dauber get that wet as well just a mist so the lights coming this way when this sphere is round convex is what that's called the light is going to be on this side and the dark is on this side but when you reverse that and it's concave flip that around so now my dark was on this side i'm going to move my dark side to the opposite the upper right and when i press that and twist look how that suddenly makes it look like this is a sunken in uh, dimple in the outside edge of our round sphere. And then you have this perfect Death Star shape. Now if you want to add some more detail to it, I like to add a little texture to this. This is kind of a nice stencil here. These are my favorite way to apply stencils, these mini kabuki brushes. You can get them on paintertainment.com in the brush section. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of my paint here and add a little texture to my Death Star. And now I'm going to make it look like it's really sitting there in space. Now I'm going to add some space around my Death Star. You could do this with blue as well. Maybe a nice global dark blue. Maybe add a little bit of blue to that here too. This design I first demonstrated out in New Jersey. New Jersey Face and Body Art Guild. I went out there to teach at one of their meetings and did a couple workshops the next day. Hello to all my New Jersey friends. This is one I, I came up with for that group. It was when all the new Star Wars versions were coming out. I just like to kind of feather my backgrounds like that. but you can really see how this thing is looking very round and three-dimensional. Put a few stars in there. 
You could even get a, a dry brush and flick it to get some stars. I'm careful not to put them in front of the Death Star over here, even though it's kind of disappearing into the shadows. And if you want to make it appear to be under construction, and take a little flat brush with some black, since it's sitting against a black background, we can just kind of take away a little bit of it with some few short strokes. Now we have that Death Star in construction phase. There we go. Super quick with the daubers. I did a little too much water there on my stencil with this being a plastic board. It doesn't react the same way as skin, but hopefully you get the idea and this can help you out this week if you're doing any fun Star Wars themed designs. I hope you're able to use this tip not only in Death Stars, but in painting other concave and convex shapes in your designs. If you do come up with another way to use this little trick, post it in the comments. I love to see what you do with these tips. See you next Tuesday at 10 for another tip. Happy painting. May the fourth be with you.